Hello, and welcome back. As you can see here in my Todd Wood cook stove, I've got a nice little fire going. And what we're going to be doing today is making some uh, strawberry jam. I have my canner going, it's uh, heating up the water. I've got my jars and lids, they're sterilized, and uh, I'm just going to bring them out and put them up in the uh, bread warmer there to uh, stay warm. They are sterilized and everything, so uh, like I said, all I'm going to do is just uh, reach down in there and grab one. Dump all the water out. And I'm going to set them upside down in the bread warmer here. Just want to get them in there so I can so it doesn't get away from me. Just set them in there. That way we'll be uh, good to go because this is the pot that I'm going to be cooking the jam in. So stay tuned. Okay, right, I've got all my cannon jars up in there, and what I'm going to do is just close the lids up, and that way they'll stay warm. Uh, less chance of them cracking when I put the uh, hot food in to uh, put them in a canner. I don't know if you can hear or not, but you can hear the water boiling. Or starting to boil, rather. I'm sorry. All right. Now from here, all we're going to do is just uh, take our knife and uh, hold them out. Put them in the pan here and squash them down with uh, either a uh, potato masher and uh, just squash them all down. And I'm going to save you the trouble of watching me do all this so I'll get back with you once we get them hauled and uh, quartered up. Alright all I'm doing here is just smashing them up here with this little masher I got chunks and such in here. This is uh, four cups of uh, strawberries and what I want to do is uh, take one pack of pectin, sure pectin, and four cups of sugar to four cups of strawberries here. And as soon as I put this in the pot, I'm going to add the pectin and bring it to a, a uh, small boil, right to where it starts to boil. And then I'm going to add all my sugar to it at one time. And uh, bring it to a rolling boil and so as it'll continue to to be a rolling rolling boil while I'm stirring it and then I'll do that for one minute and then take it off so uh, stay tuned I'm going to stir it constantly so it doesn't stick to the pot Okay. Let me take it off the heat here for a second so I can add my add my uh, pectin. Like I said, I'm just going to add one thing I picked in here. One packet. Okay, just going to stir all that in. You can see that or not. Just going to stir all that in. the water 
We're starting to boil there in a canner. Ain't got much room. That's a big old canner, and I ain't got much room to to do nothing here. I just stir occasionally here. I'm not a fast stir or nothing. Just a just something small. Let me bring the camera up here so everybody can see. Okay, it's starting to boil here. As you can see, I'm sorry about this. I don't know if you can see that down there or not. Don't you see it start to boil there? So now I'm going to add my sugar, four cups of it, and stir it in. I'm going to set the camera back down and do it. I do not have any butter. Put like a half a tablespoon or a correction teaspoon of butter in. That helps to uh, eliminate a lot of the froth. I may let it set just a little bit more. Pot on up here. I'm gonna move my move my. Uh, Lids over here. Slide my canner up just a little bit more and put this. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna put my four cups of sugar in. Mix all that in. And then once all this gets mixed in, I'll let it go to a rolling boil. So like as, I, as I'm stirring it like this, and it continues to boil, I'll, I'll do that for one minute. Okay, that's one minute after a rolling boil, and I, now I have to continue stirring for five minutes. And once it comes to a rolling boil, everything will start to rise on you. Um, as long as you have a deep enough pot or what have you, it shouldn't boil boil over. And one thing that you may have to keep an eye on is if uh, it sticks or scorches or anything. Uh, there's a good chance that you have lost your batch because you can't get the taste out. And as you can see, all the froth and everything here. So, I'm going to start that way. It will. Uh, the reason for stirring here is uh, it takes the froth down some, not a lot, but. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start skimming some, but keep stirring a constant five minutes. Yeah. As you can see it here, it's uh still has a lot of froth in it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and can it. Now, or put it in my jars rather. Now, what you would, you do not want to put your jars on a tile or, or wood or something that or maybe wood but um, it may take a chance on cracking so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and get up here in my uh, red warmer here and get one of my warm jars it's warm it's not scalding hot but it's warm and place down here and uh, start filling my jars up. 
and I'm just going to fill it up to to where the green thing goes in the uh, in the jar there. I'm going to take my stainless steel cup and uh, fill my jars up. Let's stay tuned. Let me set the camera down here. See, I'm going to take my stainless steel cup here and just uh, put it in there. That's a little much. Headspace, just a tad more. Okay, I'll lock him off her. Okay. And set him down here. Move this out just a little bit more so I have room. Like I said, I'm not worried about. the towel or anything so now I'm gonna get over here and get my ring and uh my lid and rings so I can get it there. Oh, Always so aggravating one little thing here. I did forget. I about forgot rather. Gotta clean my rim off. What did I left my towel? Okay, my towel. Take a take a little napkin here or my towel and clean the rim off. It's a little hot. Put it on finger tight. There you go. I'm gonna set him over here. Another towel. Reach in here and get another cut. This thing got a lot of work area here on the stove. to do a lot of stuff, so just bear with me. Make sure you get you a lot of preserves in there. A lot of little chunks and what have you. Now, by stirring it for five minutes afterward, you just take, it just helps settle the, the chunks a lot of people, you know, I've heard uh, that they'll take it and they'll turn it upside down after they put it in the pot or the jar to help uh, so it won't float the preserves, you know, so they won't be at the top, the big chunks. Well, I found that by doing that, it uh, it kind of messes with the program, if you know what I mean. So uh, I tend to uh, just put them, put them in wherever they lay there. You know, that's where they lay. Uh, let them set for 12 to 24 hours before you touch them. And uh, I can put just a little bit more in that, but. Um, Don't touch them, you know. And if you want to uh, see if your uh, stuff gelled up right, just leave some. Uh, leave a little bit in your pot here to uh, put it in a cup or a bowl or something, and uh, 
See if it gels up. You know, I've heard of you know, like I said, other people testing, you know, flipping it back and forth, you know, flipping it over on its top and flipping it to see if it's going to help gel. Actually, it hurts it from gelling or it prevents it from gelling in a lot of ways. Okay, as you can see here, I got five and three quarter jars. I don't know where my. I do not want to turn it sideways. I think it's this one. You don't want to tilt them. Um, but that is simply because you see that big glob over there. If it wasn't for that, I would have got six. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to take my handy dandy little. jar grabbers here and place them in the canner and bring the water back up to a boil for uh, 10 minutes okay I have five and three quarter jars this in here been the three quarter jar I mean he's probably I don't know he's a good inch yeah he's probably two inches below the the head there or an inch below it but that is because of this big glob right here um, from the first from the first scoop so what I'm going to do now is just uh, place it in the hot water place them down in this hot water and bring it back to a boil for uh, and leave them in there for 10 minutes you do not want to tilt your jars once it's uh, once they're in there, or once you bring them out and everything, because it will mess up everything. Let's bring them up vertical and just place them down in there as much as safe as possible. These little racks are very aggravating, to say the least in these hot bath canners. And by keeping the jars up in the bread warmer, I don't have to worry about my jars cracking. Or at least I shouldn't have to worry about my jars cracking. Simply Place them in there. Put my lid back on it. Stoke the fire up. Open the damper up wide open, and it'll start boiling. And once it starts boiling, I can start my timer for 10 minutes. You don't want to place your jars beside one another or touching. You don't want them to touching because of the. Uh, uh, the cans jiggling around and all that doing the jig down in there so okay bring you up here and let you look at them say hello alright anyway now I'm going to uh, bring it to a boil and start counting my 10 minutes go ahead and stoke the fire up one more good one and uh, we'll be back right back. All right, it's starting to come to a rolling boil. So I'm going to start my 10 minute count now. All righty, it's been boiling for 10 minutes, and it's time to take this puppy off. So, uh, let's go ahead and start taking them out there, and I'll get my little towel and lay down here. Well, I shouldn't need it, because it's on the water jacket, and it's warm. It's not cold or anything, so we'll go ahead and ease down in here and grab one up. Just try not to turn it, tilt them or anything. 
I mean, you you may have done it before and say, oh, it doesn't hurt it or anything. But I was taught not to turn them. Tilt them. Not turn them, but tilt them. And see that uh, froth doesn't look too bad on there. But, uh, that doesn't hurt a bit. Let's go ahead and set them right here. Move them back just a little bit more so I can get my things out. Number four. I said I'm not going to touch them for about 12 hours, and fruit looks like it's down midway of the jar. You may have one or two floaters, but not many. Right, there was one popped already. There you have it. Excuse me there. It's uh, five and three quarter cans of uh, strawberry jam made April 21st, 2016, one day before the full moon. And I can't remember what the sign is uh, in the range or something. I don't, I'm not, it eludes me. I'm sorry. I apologize. But there you have it, uh, standard um, strawberry jam, made it many, many a time, I just uh, thought I'd share it with you. Thank you for watching.